So maybe you're designing a website and you want to make it a little bit more creative. You want to break up the design a little bit more by using things like icons and illustrations to get across a concept or a message. If this is something you want to add to your website, you can do it for free using Canva. You don't need to pay for any special icon graphic packs or anything like that. So typically with an icon or a simple illustration like this, you want it to be fitting into a square file format. So you want the width and the height of the design to be the same. So once you've created your free Canva account, you can go to create a design, select custom size, and just make sure that the pixels that you enter are the same on the width and the height. So I'm going to do a thousand by a thousand. That's usually more than big enough for using an icon on a website. So let's click to create a new design. Then we have our blank Canva template. And all you need to do is just head over to elements on the left hand side and just type into the search elements bar the kind of icon that you're looking for. So for example, a heart, if we click enter, you then have a few different options. But if you choose see all on graphics, this then gives you a load of different options for different style heart icons. Yes, some of these are animated and that might not be what you want. So ignore those. But you can see all of the different types. This would be quite a simple style icon. You can just click on it and drag it to re size it to fit nicely within the square. Make sure that you're seeing those little pink lines appear to show you that this image is exactly centered. You can also easily change the color on most of these icons as well. So if you click up here and go to plus, you can type in your brand color codes and easily change the color of all of your icons and make them consistent. Maybe you want to have more of an illustrated style um, of icons to use. So you could use one like this instead. And again, you're able to easily change the color of this. I'm going to go with this outline design and obviously because it's white, it's not showing up. So I'm just going to choose my brand color there and um, expand it to fit in the shape. Now, now that I know the style of icon that I like and that I'm looking for on my website, if I want other icons in a similar style, I just need to be more specific with what I'm searching. So rather than create a brand new design for the next type of icon that I want, I'm just going to click on duplicate. And this will create another page in the same um, file size and in the same file for us to download. So now I'm going to search for bag icon. Maybe this is like a shopping cart or something like that that I want to create an icon for on the website. And this has actually already brought up a lot of relevant ones that would fit really well with the first icon that I've created, for example, this one. But you could also get more specific um, and type in outline as well. And then it's going to give you some more options. So I'm going to go with this one. And again, I'm just resizing it to fit within the square and changing the color. So if we compare them, you'll see that the outlines are slightly different thicknesses um, because we are doing it this way and not buying a pack that's all from the same kind of design style. But you can always get more specific and search for other ones that are more fitting in with the thickness of the outline of the other one. We'll just go for solid icons to make it easier. Once you've got the icons that you want to use, just go to share and then click download. Now, this is an important thing to note. I'm going to be downloading these as PNG files to use on the website. If you've got the Canva Pro plan where you pay for it monthly or yearly, you can set this PNG to have a transparent background. Now, obviously, this is the ideal. Um, if you are using these icons on a website, you want the background instead of being white, you want it to be transparent so that the background of the website shows through behind the icon. However, I'm going to show you a workaround for this if you don't have the Canva Pro plan and if you're not paying for it, because this won't be an option for you. So just download it as a PNG. And because I've got the two um, kind of files all within one, it's downloaded it as a zip file. So just double click on that to open it and then you'll see the two PNGs in there. Now all you need to do is go to remove.bg, upload your file, open it and let it just automatically remove the background for you. Now this is a free tool. So one of the things that you do have to put up with, with this is it will make the file smaller. If you want to use the free version, it will make it 500 by 500 pixels instead or you can download the full version um, with the full 1000 by 1000 pixels by signing up and using a credit. But there we go, we've got our transparent icon all created and ready to upload to our website pages. Now, obviously I've just used very simple examples here, but obviously there are hundreds of different types of icons and illustrations within Canva that you can use for a more detailed look as well. For example, if I type in people working, you get tons of different graphics here that are much more detailed and again are free to use. All of these are free to use unless they have the little crown icon in the bottom right corner. So I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like content like this and give the video a like while you're there as well. Thanks so much. I'll see you again next week with another video.